video and another Christmas jumper. Uh, this one has, I don't know if you can see, little reindeer heads on it and little kind of diamantes in the nose. <laughs> um, that's inappropriate. Anyway, today's video is a gift guide with a difference. It's all about fragrances, choosing the perfect fragrance for Christmas if you're buying a present for someone else. And it's in association with Calvin Klein. So all of the fragrances that I've been trying out and that I'm going to talk to you through today are from Calvin Klein. Now, there are six altogether and I've been trying them out myself and also on Mr. AMR. So let's start with three that hold really, really strong memories for me and I think they will for other people too. I think that probably quite a few people are going to ooh and ah when I show you the first ones that I want to talk about because they were classics then and they still continue to be classics and bestsellers and I reckon that I must have first seen these 20 years ago. So CK1 um, came out when I was a teenager and I know that because I based my GCSE artwork on the ad campaign for this. Now unless you were around at the time, you will not know what a kerfuffle this launch made because really it was the first advertised unisex fragrance that I became aware of. And the whole ad campaign was very cool, black and white, very androgynous. Um, it's a unisex fragrance. And so everyone just kind of went crazy for it because girls could wear it, boys could wear it. It had this really cool bottle that didn't have a spray. It does come with a spray, but you know, you splashed it on like a cologne. I'm tempted to say that it's a younger fragrance, but only because I wore it when I was younger. Um, but actually, it's a very clean and simple scent for anybody who likes things unfussy. So, you know, if you just like your fragrances to make you smell a bit fresher and zinnier, then this is perfect. Another memory jogger coming up for you. I was obsessed with this in my early 20s and it still smells as good today as it did then. It's just timeless, it's classic. This is eternity. Now, for some reason, the smell of this reminds me of the seaside and I don't know whether the advert had a beach in or a seaside. I must go back and watch it. But to me it just smells of that fresh wave smell. And the type of person that I imagine wearing this is, you know those gorgeous women who always look totally polished and groomed but they wear the most simple clothes like perfect blue jeans and those lovely white shirts and just undone enough to look sexy but not cheap. I don't know whether you know a woman like that, but that's who this reminds me of. Or, you know, they just look so elegant and they'll wear an evening dress and it'll be so simple but they'll look amazing. And for the last of the memory joggers, eternity for men. And to me, this smells of dates going to the cinema and just kind of man stuff. <laughs> Less said about that, better. I've been testing this out on Mr. AMR and it does smell really, really all round nice. It's just a classic pleaser, I think, because it's got a little bit of everything. It's kind of a little bit woody and, you know, that kind of spicy undertones that you get with a good aftershave. But then it's got this freshness to it as well and it's almost quite green and herby. It's one of those ones that I don't think can cross over into being unisex at all. Sometimes men's fragrances, you would want to wear them as a woman, but this is very definitely masculine. Which brings me on to a newer discovery, which is Euphoria for men. It's altogether less of a big blast of man, this one, um, but it's got some really interesting notes and I find that they take a little bit longer to come out. And so you've got this really lovely spicy pepperiness on the top and then I can smell the patchouli and then you've got that lovely woodiness on the bottom as well. Very, very smart indeed. So perhaps this one is a little bit more of a grown up fragrance. I'm not sure, I'd have to get men's opinion on this one. But as I said, one word answers from Mr. AMR. However, what I can talk about in great length is euphoria for women. Now out of all of the fragrances I've been trying, I've become rather enamored with this one. It is very, very feminine, sensual, seductive, sexy, 
If you've been watching me for a while, you'll know that I love those um, dark florals and fruity kind of fragrances that have got an edge to them. So maybe they've got oud added or they've just got something really spicy and almost masculine. And this one starts off with this kind of gorgeous fruity burst of pomegranate, but it's got a really dark edge to it. So it's not fruity as in a body spray kind of fruity. There's something very heady and exotic about this. So you know those um, really expensive body oils that you get, massage oils, and they've got uh, exotic florals and tropical florals in them. It reminds me a bit of those, but then it's got this really dark fruitiness to it. And so this would suit somebody who really wants to wear a perfume. It's very dark, sensuous. I kind of see it as an evening perfume almost for myself, although you could wear it all day. But uh, it just has that real, you know, intoxicating, seductive quality to it. And then lastly, we have Reveal. Now, this is a completely new one to me. Um, I had never tried this before. And I was a little bit surprised by this one because I thought that from the shape of the bottle, that it would be quite sporty and fresh and maybe citrusy or cologne-y, um, but it's not. It's a new category that I've never heard of before because I think that Calvin Klein have kind of coined it and it's called, where are my notes, Solar Oriental. It's got a kind of sweet warmth to it which keeps it feminine, but it doesn't have any flimsy, florally, that kind of sweetness that some people love but just makes me a bit like Bleh. Um, so, like this one, complete surprise for me because as I said I thought it was going to be a marine, sporty kind of scent, but it's not. It's a solar oriental. So those are my six fragrances. Uh, leave your comments below, tell me your own thoughts on those fragrances and also if you have any anecdotal material about CK1 or Eternity or Eternity for Men, I would love to hear it and I shall see you next time.